Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Matt with Coyote Creek Archery in Ellis, Kansas. I've got another new bow for 2023 to tell you about today. This time it is the Diamond Edge Max. The Edge Max is, I would say it's a new bow. It's a redesigned bow. They're, they're replacing the Edge 320. If you look at the cams, it's a very similar cam, if not the same cam than what was on the Edge 320. The same draw stops and the same binary system, which is which is nice to have in a bow at this price point. This is more of a, a mid-price to budget price bow aimed at people who are on a budget looking to um, get into a bow package for not a lot of a lot of cost up front, or maybe for a, a young archer or a new archer um, just starting out that's not wanting to put a couple thousand dollars into a bow setup. So um, a nice, really nice option here from Diamond. Let's look at the specs. Our um, Axle to axle length is 31 inches. So it is a kind of a smaller compact hunting bow. Our brace height is a very forgiving seven and one eighth of an inch. Advertised speeds coming in at 314 feet per second. Draw length range from 16 on up to 31 inches. So it will fit a very large range of, of individuals. Peak or your draw weight is adjustable from 20 pounds up to 70 pounds, so a lot of adjustability there. And our physical weight is 3.7 pounds on this bow. So it is a little bit um, more lighter weight. It's gonna fit um, more of a younger, younger type of archer. Um, some of the changes that they've done, obviously, is the riser. The riser on this bow is completely different than what was on the Edge 320. Uh, you can see there is a little bit of, of bridging up here in the top section of it, but it's a really nice looking riser. They did away with the plastic grip and now the grip is all just built into the riser. And so your, your, your hand is right there on the riser. Also, we don't have those plastic limb pockets anymore. It has um, just kind of a, a small bracket here that's holding this limb in place. We do have a little bit of a plastic, I guess, here on the riser that's, that's holding the limb in place. Um, but really a really nice nice looking bow and a nice feeling bow. It balances very well. Even with, with the quiver on the side, uh, the bow does come as a package. But that bow balances very well with this quiver. That is one nice thing about these diamond bows coming as a package. Is it's, it's all ready to shoot and ready to go for someone who's just wanting to get started into archery. So it has the Octane branded accessories. We have our, our octagon brush rest, a three pin sight. It does have a five arrow quiver which removes very easily. There's a little lever right here. Quiver will just slide right off and slide back on. So if you're someone who likes to shoot with the quiver off of your bow, it's very easy to remove and put back on. We do have this short stabilizer and a wrist sling, which I think is nice for someone that's starting out. Um, even myself, I choose to shoot with, with a wrist sling because as I've done these videos, I have seen myself at the shot wanting to grab the bow. So I'm consciously have been working on trying not to do that, but the wrist sling is going to help you and not being afraid that that bow is going to fall out of your hand. And you can focus on, on a good grip and good form and not wanting to really grip or torque that bow with the shot. So uh, that's something that I think is important. The, uh, the bow looks really nice. It has a nice feel to it, but let's, uh, let's take a shot and see what the draw cycle is all about. And then we'll see what type of speed we're getting out of this. Okay, we're gonna test out the draw cycle on the new Diamond Edge Max. I really like these bows. To me, they're just, they're a lot of fun because they're something that's gonna fit everyone. And I really like to see new people get into archery. So these bows are a lot of fun for me, um, not only to shoot, but to set up and just, just to see someone get excited about getting into the sport of archery, whether it be hunting or target archery or just shooting in the backyard with their family or whatever it is. Um, these bows always get me excited because um, there's really nothing better than getting new people into the sport. So I've got the bow set up at 28 inch draw and at 60 pounds. And let's see what the draw cycle feels like. Very smooth draw. The, uh, we'll walk this forward. Yeah, draw cycle is very smooth. Uh, um, very nice and linear, no hump or anything like that at the back end. So it's going to be very, very comfortable someone, for someone who is, is new to the sport. Um, it's not going to scare them away with, with kind of a, a harsh draw cycle. So very nice and smooth, and it is easy to walk that arrow forward as well. 
It, uh, I just shot the SS34, so the string angle feels a little bit steeper to me, um, obviously, than what, what that bow would. But um, really is, is, a, is a nice string angle as well. The back wall is maybe just a little bit spongy, but not bad. But let's take a shot and see what we feel on the shot. Yeah, really pretty nice back wall as well. There is kind of a, a jump. I do notice that bow wanting to jump forward just a little bit. It is a lighter bow being 3.7 pounds and um, it doesn't have a lot of the technology that your higher end bow would have built into it. It's not bad at all, but there, I do notice just a little bit um, and it's not even so much vibration, but just a little bit of a jump in the shot goes away very quickly. So um, really pretty pleasant bow to shoot. I liked the Edge 320. I thought it was a, a great bow for uh, for what it was designed for. And I think this is no different. It's gonna be, be a great replacement for that Edge 320. So the shot feels nice, the draw feels nice. Um, just, just a fun bow to shoot. Let's see what type of speed we're getting. Okay, so I'm set up to test the speed here on the Diamond Edge Max. One thing that I wanna mention about these Diamond bows uh, before I get too much further is this little sticker right here, and hopefully you can see that. Okay, there's the American flag. So these bows are all made in the United States and that's not something you see a lot of nowadays. Um, a budget price bow that's coming in at a very um, very reasonable price. I think this is right around $450, $460 for the entire package. And it's all made here in the United States. So to me, that, that's something that's very important. Um, being a, a veteran and just being a proud American, I pride myself in trying to bring in a lot of products into my store, as many as I can, that are American made. And this, this bow is no exception. So that's something I wanted to point out. Uh, but let's shoot through the chronograph and see what we get for our speed. Again, I am 28 inch draw, set on 60 pounds, shooting a 411 grain arrow. Nice draw. Two forty one. Okay, shot number two with the Diamond Edge Max. Two forty two on shot number two. Okay, this will be shot number three. Two forty-two again. Um, so not a super fast bow, but really fairly respectable for um, the smooth draw that it has. Being a uh, you know a sub five hundred dollar bow package, you're not going to get those speeds that you would out of a, of a flagship bow. But um, really nothing that uh, that wouldn't be a, wouldn't work for a great would work for a great hunting bow. I mean the speed of two forty-two is not super fast, but it's not not going to be bad at all. And I think it would work great for, for a youth or for someone that's looking to, to get into archery for the first time. This would be a great little package for them to, uh, to, set up, to get set up for them. Draw cycle is nice. The shot feels nice. And um, I can't tell you much about the noise. It seems like a quiet bow shooting here inside at just a few feet. Um, it's hard to get a gauge on the, on the sound. And um, going outside to shoot is really not much of an option. It's just... Here in western Kansas, the wind blows all the time and it's hard to get a, a decent sound reading. So I need a, a soundproof booth or something like that to test test the noise on. But um, um, I think it'd be a great bow, great bow option. Diamond did a nice job with, with the Edge Max for 2023. And if it's something that you're, you're interested in, I suggest you go out and shoot it yourself. See what it's all about. Um, Diamond has a really nice line of bows, um, again, that are all made here in the U.S. And um, all priced very reasonably for someone to get into the sport of archery for not a lot of money up front. So anyway, um, take a look at it. Thanks for watching, folks. If you have any comments, you can leave them in the comment section below or questions. And if you want to get a hold of me, my contact information is on the website, coyotecreekarchery.com. So be sure to check that out and you can uh, contact me if you have any questions about it there as well. So uh, folks, I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.